Howdy folks, it's Cato here with my first review after returning home from TFCon Baltimore 2021. And I've said it before, I'll say it again. It was like summer camp for geeks. I had a blast. Oh look, tweezers. Well, this is the first figure I wanted to review from there because it was actually uh, one of the it seemed like the sleeper hit of the whole con. It, like everyone was walking out with this thing. I had it pre-ordered for a while from thechosenprime.com, which by the way, I picked this up at the Chosen Prime booth. Um, those guys are brilliant. I had such a good time hanging out. Eric, if you watch this, thank you so much for the great conversation. I had a blast meeting you. It was an absolute pleasure. Anyway, this guy was on the shelf. It was actually Deluxe Baldwin that told me, hey, they got it in stock there. You should get it. Went right away and got it. I had it pre-ordered. I wanted this line. I had actually reviewed this little guy before and loved it. Small figures. But this is the one I was waiting on the most along with the other mech or transforming robots from that line. Let's roll the intro. Take a look at Arch Core's or Toys Alliance Arch Core Frostlight. It's Just like always, the first thing I want to do is take a look at the packaging. And other than the small figures, this was the, the really the main thing I was looking for in this. I love the artwork, the way it's a little blurred to show some motion. You can see Frostlight there on the front. Toys Alliance, Arch Core, 135th, Arch Emiris. Type 03 AY 03 F Frostlight. That's a lot of words. Uh, Arch Core at the top. On the side, you get another great image of the figure uh, and more of that long, ridiculously long name. And you can see you've got a uh, figure up on the shoulder there. Uh, very cool idea, and I'll show it off uh, with one of the figures I have the way the smaller figures and the larger mechs work together. And on the back, you've got robot mode showing off some of the accessories and articulation alt mode with one of the figures hanging out to the side here and inside of the uh, canopy you've got the figure on the shoulder and you get a shadowed silhouette look of the full combined mode with uh, some of the other figures that are coming out in the future the next one is going to be a wolf i think that turns into a motorcycle and becomes an arm and course a bio there that i can't read getting into the accessories this is the hammer that comes with it it is it comes folded up like this and this will be used in transformation in this form right here to help uh, peg the legs together and store this is also a good point to start bringing up the paint on this figure nearly every piece of this thing uh, both the figure and the accessories is touched by paint and painted beautifully. You've got the blue and white paint there, this uh, charcoal kind of gunmetal look here going down the hilt of the hammer. It is beautiful. I'm sure that some of these extra little bends and joints here are going to help in whatever combined mode we end up with, but it's gorgeous. It pegs in kind of MP style. I'll show that a little bit later. Um, it doesn't peg in super well. That's probably one of the the only uh, one of the first thing you noticed. And it, it, it's, it doesn't peg in very tight and can get knocked out pretty loosely. But it looks absolutely stunning. And there's actually a little spring in here for the hammer. A little smashing action there if you want to use that. But fantastically done. I love this hammer. And just like the hammer, the shield is beautifully painted with this white and red here. Looks like a claw, maybe a bear claw with some bronze around the edge and that same, uh, I think this is just plastic. There may be a coat, like a clear coat over that, but that's just plastic with some white paint here on this uh, nub. On the inside, you've got some molded detail here. You've got this piece here that will slide onto the arm, just lock in right there and then you can take your handle and just pull it over the hand and then lock everything in. So that is, it's a great way to do that and makes it really sturdy. It's not going anywhere. And you have two of these knives. Uh, I'm just going to hold, I'll hold both of them up so that you can see what you have with the gray paint there 
and the nice hilt but i'm going to put one down because they're they're identical the knives are done really well you got the serrated part on the top the blade here they also fold up for storage and you can put those right inside the leg so you lift this up fold this down obviously he can hold them as well but you fold that down and inside here let me get the foot out of the way right inside here you get a little cavity and this just slides in right there for storage and that also works in alt mode and i'll i'll show that as well so you can store everything on the figure and lastly in the box you get the instructions which are surprisingly well done uh, not a lot of words that lead you through anything but the the pictures lead through pretty well a lot of times when you just have the bicolor instructions with the grayed out with the red it doesn't lead you through it really well and this one isn't perfect but it definitely gets the job done but i will go through transformation in this video as well and that leads us to the actual figure and i've got the hammer in his hand here again it plugs in mp style and i'll show you it doesn't take a whole lot to wiggle that loose but it's it's fine that's just one thing that's worth pointing out the shield however that stays on as firm as you want it i don't even have his hand through it it's just looped in right there on that little slider absolutely beautiful as we get up close to this figure again it's easy to see that every single inch of this thing is covered in some form of paint for the most part i'm exaggerating a bit but you see all that red and white tempo the white along the legs here uh, and the thighs all that paint there there's even some paint detail here inside the lower of the the back of the calf here with some gold inside and some gold on these smokestacks that will end up in vehicle mode gold on these horns of course the head sculpt there has that white and red with those beautiful white eyes the paint is is immaculate i've got a little scratch right there but i did that unfortunately you got a little bit of blue paint or teal inside for the lights some more gold there or bronze back there uh, i know you guys hate it when i use these tweezers but i can't find my uh, plastic tool i'm not going to touch it but you've got bronze in there bronze there the zero three on the side bronze here on the crotch with some more white and black red here or red and white here more bronze on the knees just I, I don't even have to say anything i'm just going to go through the figure and show you guys plenty of die cast you've got die cast here the skeletal structure is die cast you've got die cast shoulders which i do want to discuss these in a little bit gray paint on the shoulders here for the wheels the wheels are rubber or rubberized plastic with some gray paint here on these sharp lug nuts on the wheel coming down the arm it's just there's it's a beautiful beautiful figure there are little bits and pieces that i'll go over later that i'm believing are going to be for the combined mode but yeah this thing is it's absolutely beautiful you can see the die cast skeleton here for the legs and the hip joints there's nothing about this figure that isn't likable articulation is well it's pretty incredible there is a bit of an issue or at least i had a bit of an issue with the head when it comes packed like the head is collapsed here uh, which you will also do for tra transformation and these actually go down so there's a little bit of articulation for you but there's a small nub you can see right here that goes into a little spot here that can be a little tight to get it's gotten easier as i've done it you can see it plug in right there to keep the head up but you can rotate the head 360 these horns come up you've got plenty of up and down more up and down if you want to unsnap that a little bit plenty of side to side so it's on a ball joint as well as a hinge here in the back it's really well done the arms uh i was who was i talking to i think it was t-man i was talking to in the lobby this part right here bothers me a little bit it's it's die cast metal so i don't think you're gonna have a lot of concern with it but because that spring it's ratcheted so you can do a full 360 right i hate spending this much time on articulation but it's worth talking about uh that also is it creates a bit of pressure when you want to bring the arms up and down on this strong ratchet here so you can get the arms all the way up and all the way back down but 
I'm worried if you're not careful that this spring right here over time, haven't had a problem with it yet, just something to keep an eye on if you get this figure. But you can see that ratchet that brings the arms up. You've got bicep rotation. You have a nice uh, double elbow and it's done beautifully with this little joint right here. So it's not an ugly double elbow. The hands will rotate uh, 360 there. You've got articulation joints on the base pin right here on all the base knuckles. Then you've got one single joint for these three and then another joint for the index finger for pointing. You have a joint at the thumb right there for bending down. And the thumb is on a hinge right here that just is in and out. It doesn't fold downward, if that makes sense to all you guys that are used to these kind of figures. The waist will rotate 360 and it needs to for transformation. Now you have right here a an ab crunch now in order to really utilize the ab crunch there's a locking mechanism right here that keeps the figure nice and sturdy but you can unlock that and get that ab crunch down if you want to use that which i think is a nice little added touch and it doesn't really break the sculpt that much to to loosen that up other than that gap from the actual um, ab crunch the legs, again, you've got die cast here. You do have swivel right here. It's very tight, but you have a nice swivel right there. The legs will go out all the way and they're not coming down until you move them. That joint is really, really tight. You can hear that nice ratchet in there. You've got a nice clicky ratchet coming to the back that will bring your legs out about that far back. And another nice ratchet that will come up to the front. So plenty of movement in the legs, the knees. You've got another softer ratchet, but more than enough knee bend. Look at that, coming all the way back to kick his own butt. I think that's gorgeous. Uh, on the ankles, you've got some nice ankle pivot there and you can uh, bend those all the way back, which again is for transformation. And you've got some nice toe tilt also for transformation, but helps with the figure. Look at all that detail in there. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous figure. For a quick size comparison, there he is beside MP10. So he is a technically masterpiece scale if you want to work that into you. I think he would work really well with your movie series masterpiece figures. Just for something a little more recent, there he is beside Kingdom Galvatron. And because it's such a weird figure, I'm really not sure what to compare it to, but I want something that you guys may all have or at least know the size of. There he is beside Studio Series Rekgar. And finally, the one that I consider in this line to be his pilot or buddy or partner or whatever, there's Orn Lawbrook from the Toys Alliance Arts Core line as well. I, I see these going hand in hand. Now getting into transformation, and please bear with me, this thing is kind of cumbersome to transform anyway, but behind the camera, it's going to be a little bit more so because he kind of explodes and then comes back together in truck mode. So the first thing you want to do you want to untab this head right here from here, bring it all the way back and make sure that you put these horns down. The bumpers you want to straighten. Now there are tabs behind this collar that you want to pick up. They're very tight in the beginning, but uh, once you transform it one time, they loosen up really well. You're gonna open the chest up like so, spin this around 180, drop the head down into this new little uh, crevice that you created there and then bring that back up come around to the back unclip the the ab crunch piece that I showed earlier and lift this up you're going to swing all that out and extend just like that now one thing that's going to probably stay put is the canopy cover just bring that up and close that go ahead and rotate the waist 180 while you're here now there's gonna be this little piece right here that's gonna tab right into this crotch area. It'll come loose a lot while you're transforming it, but it will end up right there. Close that canopy down just like that. From there, you're gonna leave the upper body pretty much alone and move on to the legs. You're gonna take the foot, you're gonna swivel it out, disconnecting the two tires here to extend that. Then bring this all the way up and collapse the toe, it's very tight, but you'll see when I'm done with it, you're going to bring that toe straight down like that. You're gonna take this piece right here and untab it 
from that little section there, spin that all the way down, lift this up and slide on a little slider right here. Just slide that out as far as you can. And it's a almost a triple hinge here, here and here. You're going to extend and unclip from right inside here, that little clip right there. Bring this up and extend that all the way up. You'll, you'll move that around a bit uh, as you go along. And this piece here, swivel on itself so that it looks like that. Now you're gonna take this whole leg on this hinge right here, bring that up and there is, it's not really a tab, but you're gonna bring this up here. And now there is a tab inside here and there to line all this up together. And you'll know you have it when that clicks in just like that. Now to save time, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other leg. It is the exact same process. I'm just gonna do it to the other leg and go forward. So with both legs in place, you're left with this kind of cluster here. Uh, you've got this piece that you extended out now sitting across the top and that's about where it needs to be to do it. Now you're going to rotate the exhaust down and make sure that these little nubs are on the bottom because they're gonna slide into this little spot right here and fold that open so that they line up there. Same thing on this side, rotate swivel out and put in place here. There are little tabs. You can see a post inside there and a post hole here. You're gonna make sure, and that gets a little tedious, but you're gonna line those up so that they sit inside there. I don't think I'll have to do it on cam off camera, but you get the idea. Line all that up. And what it's going to do, once those plug in, it's going to allow you to close this up. Let's see if I can do it here. I may have to do it off camera, but you get the idea. You're going to put those together and then squeeze these together here. I'll be right back. With those holes lined up, you can close this up together here. And it may come unsnapped a little bit while you're messing with it, but you get the idea. You can put that back in place later. One last thing here uh, to the legs, you're going to bring this little piece out right there. Very important step because it helps lock here into here. You're gonna take the hammer. You're gonna fold it up just like that. You've got these little slots, these little slivers here that are gonna line up in these little slots. And this part of the hammer here, this hole is going to tab in right there. You can see how that's gonna be. If you love cameras, Having to do this behind the camera is so much fun. There you go, line that up, line that up, sandwich all that in and peg that together. And that gives you a nice sturdy, along with that little tab there, nice sturdy rear of the vehicle. You even get a little extra trailer hitch back here. You're left with the front and it looks like a mess, but it's really not. So with the arms, again, a little floppy, you gotta hold it here. Try to hold it up right here. You're gonna rotate the arms straight like that. Flip that fist in, make sure it's straight. Flip the fist in. You're gonna use, there's a hinge right here that you're gonna rotate that all the way in. Ah, one thing, these pieces right here, go ahead and fold those. Uh, they'll fold in on their own, but just make sure they're not gonna tighten it, tie anything up. You're gonna rotate this entire section of the chest and body or the hood all the way in and you'll be left with that. Now you wanna make sure this die cast piece is straight down. Now as you do that, you can use that hinge holding here and bring this all the way up. There's a tab right here and here that you can put there here, bring this out, swivel it around and close there. That's gonna go as the doors right there. Now, as you bring the arm in, there's a tab right here and a tab right here that's gonna go here. This red tab will go into that clear spot right above it. You can see it fairly clearly. 
line everything up get this in here tab that there <laughs> things start coming apart on camera of course i'll clean it up in a bit fold this down bring this out swivel that around that will complete the door which will tab in just a bit better once we get everything lined up the arms again you're going to straighten up here swivel that around on that piece there to complete the top of the hood the fist is folded in and then bring everything up and you can go ahead and uh, line that fender up to that tab right there bring everything up on this hinge nice and tight and then clip everything together just like i said before the red part into that back behind that plastic and this part right here on that now i've got to clean this up because it came apart showing you guys i, I promise when you're not wrapped around the camera it isn't any trouble at all but they are easy enough to clean up for sure uh, last but not least you're gonna take these pieces here you can bring these down and just like before that's where you can store your knives once they're folded up uh, in the back you can just fold those up and slide those right in there if you like one thing I did leave out is the shield will slide right onto this piece here uh, to complete the back of it. So there you go. That's actually what it looks like complete. And let me tell you, this thing is absolutely brutal looking. Kind of reminds me of Dark of the Moon Megatron, uh, but the transformation is more fun, believe it or not. You have these little pieces here that fold out that look like they have missiles on it. I'm wondering if that's going to be more for the combined mode as well, but that is an option. You've got that just awesome looking look at that brutal front end i would not want to see that thing barreling down at me you've got that gold there with the white and bronze the silver across the bottom the blue lights on the front my goodness this thing is a monster make sure everything stays tabbed well enough there you go just gorgeous i don't even know where to start with this you've got all that gray and white uh, again you've got the cool little gimmick here where you can open the canopy up and there's a seat in there that you can push down and there's a tab right there in the back that should allow you to use this little piece and get i haven't done this yet so this will be the first time we get this down in here man is he sitting there maybe one of the smaller drivers are better off for this but you can Sit your little dude in there and he'll tab in. I don't know if I'll get him to tab in, but he will sit in there. Get him in there to sit down. <laughs> He's in there. Trust me, he'll tab in. And you have a little window here. There, I used a little tool to get that open. You can open this little window and see him sitting in there, chilling out. Uh, he will actually tab in there, just again, behind the camera, makes it a bit difficult. But you got your driver in there chilling out. I'll get him out in a bit. Absolutely beautiful figure. Cannot believe they had it in stock. I had it pre-ordered at the Chosen Prime, but was really glad to see it in person and able to pick it up. The tires, everything rolls well. Everything tabs together well. You got some little feet there. Can I pull them out from the bottom? Come here. Get out of here. Such a phenomenal looking rig the way that shield sits. I would not want to see this barreling down my way. Absolutely gorgeous. For a quick comparison, there he is beside Nemesis Prime, Siege Red Alert, and for something a little more masterpiece scale, there he is beside Magic Square's Light of Freedom. So absolutely a masterpiece scale bot and so much longer and more stretched out. Uh, more like one of the movie primes or like I say, Dark of the Moon Megatron. So there you have my review of Archcore's Frostlight, the first of their big mech combiner transforming robots. And I've got one of the other characters there. Just to be clear, none of the human characters are included 
with this bot. Those are all sold separately. Uh, again, you can find all this on thechosenprime.com. I will have a link in the description, so please check that. Uh, go, go buy it from them. I have nothing negative to say about this. It is a beautiful figure, transforms well, despite how flopsy it looks when you're reaching across the camera, but in, in your lap or on the table, you'll have no issue with this whatsoever. Absolutely beautiful vehicle mode. Now, in robot mode, I think I have even fewer complaints. I mean, the one issue I really had with it was the neck not really tabbing in, and after a couple times of doing that, it works just fine. The uh, Again, the concern with the shoulders over time, I, I don't know what to say about that. Right now, it feels absolutely fine, and I don't really foresee an issue. I would just be careful with them because, I don't know, it's a fairly expensive toy, and you should be careful with them anyway. Paint over the top. Could not be happier. Love the idea of all these little dudes that can go along with them. If I can get him to stand up, he'll sit there and chill out. I love this entire line, and I think I'm in for the whole set. Maybe not all the human characters, but all these mechs and the combining aspect of it, absolutely all in. Beautiful paint, great articulation, nice die, nice use of die cast. Uh, again, I can't say enough about the paint. Just go get one. You won't regret it. It's absolutely beautiful. Again, I picked mine up from thechosenprime.com. I'll have a link in the description. So glad that I met those guys and was able to pick this up this weekend. And hopefully, I get to see you guys. And to everyone that I met at TFCon Baltimore, thank you so much for making me feel welcome. And I couldn't do it without you. Thanks for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe to the other Rejected Con, Sardo, News by 82, Larkin Slayer, and Inu Tabi. Their links are in the description as well. Until next time, this is Kato signing out. See you around like a donut. Kato!